but yeah. Okay, so in this matchup, Roy just needs to space well and not get caught in Lucas's combos. That's really how to beat Lucas, he just don't get combo. Do you start yet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So Spaz, he, he's come pretty much every week and he's always placed top top five or yeah, seven I, every single time. I don't think I've ever seen him uh, below number 10. Yeah. But he has only won once, so I'd like to see another win. Yeah. He's got an amazing neutral game. Yep. But I mean... And he has multiple, actually. He can yeah. play his PK... He, he can play his PK freeze neutral game, and he has a much more aggressive one as well. Yeah. Uh, goes, uh, goes pretty much toe-to-toe -to -toe with KDJ. Are we starting? I think we are. Yep, getting right into it. Right. Yeah, we just see Say playing by this Lucas. Not wanting to get an end noise combo. Really has a combo game as well. Alright, gonna start some tap dancing. Okay, so against Lucas' downer, if you hold down, you are able to tech it and get away from it. And not many people know that, but that's really a huge secret in beating Lucas. And I don't think TDP knows that yet. Yeah, a lot of people would benefit from that because uh, one of Lucas's most guaranteed kills is yeah. down air to, to up smash. Yeah, that's a substitute kill option. It's practically guaranteed if they don't DI the SDI or know how to deal with his down air. Great timing by uh, Spaz. Roy's recovery is extremely yeah. powerful, so you can get caught by that, but he was invincible. It's pretty much just like Marth, except it goes farther. Um, vertically. I mean horizontal. It's very important for TBD to uh, sweet spot his recoveries because Spaz will uh, forward smash him right, uh, even though he's not even on stage just before he catches ledge. I really like this movement right now by Spaz. Short hop, down B to wave dash. I mean to wave land. That's just a really great option. Yeah, we're seeing him use the freeze, but they're not hitting. I think he's just using them to get stage control. I mean, like, I don't think he's hit with one this match, but he's getting so much stage control mobility from this. Oh. Oh, he went for the back in. This so shows how much time he's put into his Lucas that he knew exactly where to place himself to hit that back air. Yeah. If you if you don't know exactly where to be, he's going. He, the the lag is not enough that they're still going to get hit. Yeah. That, you had to do that perfect. And also, Dex is very hard tech to do consistently, mm -hmm. and he practically perfects it. Fully charged neutrally. I want to see that hit. Now, Lucas definitely can get an up throw kill on Roy. Mm -hmm. It'll probably kill at around 120, 130. Yep. It might even be lower, it might be 110. Yeah. Uh, on, a, on a light character, you yeah. can get a Lucas up throw will kill at 100. Well, it's, it's actually not by the, um, by the weight, by the fall speed. So, characters like Bowser will kill at like 120, but a character like Fox will kill until 160 or something. Oh wow, that up to has a down line. Alright, Spaz is going to be looking to secure this kill now, over 180. This is one up throw. The TDB there it is. Yeah, oh, why even do it? Okay, well. Cool. Yeah, just feel that. I mean, people can match extremely fast. But I mean, he's still got the kill. Oh, wow, that down tilt. Yes, oh, that low just, percent tap dance. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You need to learn how to do against that, or else that's 72 damage. And honestly, that easily could have been enough smash. And since he had the um, B fully charged, that could have killed. Oh! There's not much Roy can really do about that. Nope. He can't recover all the way out there. I really like this combo by both players. Wow. 
great game one by Spaz. Right. It, did, it wasn't quick work, but it was yeah. good work. I was about to say, was that game one? That was. <laughs> that was a very long game. And TDDB definitely showed signs of a very smart player who knew what he was doing with the Absolutely boy. started adapting after his first two stocks. Yeah. Now I just want to see what counter pick. I mean, obviously, it's like. Obviously, a stage like Yoshi's Island. Or oh, oh, we're oh, that means Dreamland. Oh, never mind. Because Spaz will always go to Squirtle on Dreamland. Okay, so I know so much about both these characters. Um, in this matchup, Squirtle really just wants his combos, and he can very easily gimp. Probably. There's one. Well, that wasn't really gimp. That but was low percentage kill. Yeah. These side beat combos are very awesome with Squirtle. My favorite part about Squirtle is that he can um, turn around, F smash, and go across the whole stage. That's a tech that I've seen Spaz use many times, and it's extremely safe on shield. The F smash. Squirtle easily has the best dash dance, and, and you see it used very well by Spaz. I mean. Like, last game was very slow, this game is going very fast. I mean, 50 seconds in, he's looking to scare a second kill all of And that might be it, because I don't think he has a jump. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, but that great, there. Great at guarding. That has super armor, so I think that would have beaten um, Roy's up B. I'm not positive, though. Seems like something would work out. Uh, Roy trying to recover is going to be interesting this game yeah. uh, because he's Spaz is going to want to do that back air, which he's so good with uh, with Squirtle. Yeah. Uh, and Roy's up B is very powerful, so. Definitely. Spaz won the first one. We'll see who gets the second one. Combo. Oh. That should be. Oh yeah. wow. Nice taunt. Squirtle has the best taunts in the game. Oh, th those sunglasses. He still has the glasses on too. Yep. Bubble is such a great approaching option. Ah uh, man, it's broke. But um, and that's why I feel that there's literally nothing TDB can do about a bubble line. It's going to be a great position to be Edgar. I, I have a match.